Happy Friday to you. I'm Ross Dimitri right now with your 13 Action News update. Governor Sisolak says public health and making sure tourists feel safe will be essential as the state continues to reopen. Speaking with members of the Vegas Chamber today, the governor says he plans on using federal funding from the CARES Act, along with input from various chambers of commerce, to develop more state programs and keep businesses afloat. Still no word yet on when phase two of the reopening plan will begin. This as the State Department of Employment releases new numbers showing nearly 18,000 unemployment claims were filed in Nevada just last week. That puts our unemployment rate at nearly 30% during the month of April. That is the highest in our state's history. A new study from Wallet Hub shows that Nevada has the highest rate of unemployed workers in the entire country. Some locals are starting a petition to try and stop Henderson's $80 million arena from being built. The project would replace the Henderson Pavilion and would be home to a minor league hockey team affiliated with the Golden Knights. The petition aims to add the issue to upcoming ballots so that residents can vote on it. Signature gatherings will be happening again tomorrow at the Pavilion. Henderson Mayor Deborah March says this will be a good investment for the community and will create many jobs. A warm and windy Friday. Wind gusts are expected to approach about 40 miles per hour through your Friday evening with a red flag warning in place until 8 p.m. Temperatures topping out in the upper 80s, low 90s, and we do expect to hold in the 80s through at least dinner time. Working into your Saturday, we do expect the breezy conditions to continue, but gusts will relax some and temperatures back off as well. Highs on Saturday just in the mid 80s, about six or seven degrees below the seasonal average. But from there, we do warm into the start of next week. Memorial Day on Monday, mostly sunny and calm winds and temperatures in the low 90s pretty pleasant but after that we heat up really quickly highs are back in the triple digits by tuesday with forecast highs anywhere from 105 through 110 from wednesday through uh, next weekend so make sure to enjoy the 80s this weekend danny thanks that was your 13 action news update you can always get the latest news at ktnv.com thanks so much for making 13 action news a part of your day